Hello everyone, welcome back to the Indie Geek Guide channel and welcome back to Hannibal. Last time on Hannibal we had the court case drama. Will was trying to make his defence, they started with a kind of he couldn't remember the events as they were taking place defence so he wasn't actually aware, therefore how can he be guilty of these crimes? that whole thing but then in a shock twist other killings started happening that were exactly like his killings and then they tried to go for a different defense and that kind of backfired so presumably Hannibal killed the judge to get a mistrial <laughs> yeah last week's episode messed with my head a little bit I, it felt like the show was throwing some curveballs at me and was like being obvious but not obvious at the same time and that's what threw me off I was like, what, what is actually happening here? I don't know who's killing. I'm fairly sure it's Hannibal doing it because Hannibal was like, I think this killer's doing it out of love. Are you going to waste that? And that felt like a personal dig at Will <laughs> in that moment. We've also got everyone getting on Jack's back. Like, yo, just let this guy loose. Stop trying to help him or defend him because you're going to end up going down with him if you do that. The FBI people are just like, yo, you're making us look bad. This whole situation is making us look bad. Come on now. So there is drama flying which way, every way at the moment. And all the while, Will is desperately trying to figure out the truth and how he can get out of this predicament that he's found himself in. The only other clue we've got still is uh, Hannibal's therapist, played by Gillian Anderson, who believes Will, but has scarpered, gone, out of here, who knows where. But before we get into this, please remember to hit the thumbs up button if you do enjoy the reaction and the review. Also consider supporting the channel by subscribing and then you won't miss any future videos. There are links in the description for the Discord server and my Twitch channel. Come hang out live over there where we just talk and nonsense happens and it's great. It's great fun. You should hang out over there sometime. But that's it. Let's jump into this next episode. Have some fun. If fun is the right word for this. I think it's fun. This just could be covered in blood and disturbing and emotional trauma fun, but sure, let's do that. Six times. I'm wondering how this fishing thing's gonna link in. Oh, there's Abigail. I guess that's my question answered. <laughs> father taught you how to hunt. I'm gonna teach you how to fish. Same thing, isn't it? One you stalk, the other you lure. Yeah, he's talking to himself. His, fish once, his vision away. of Abigail, anyway. I do like this whole metaphor of uh, fishing and hunting. I mean, they're framing it as between him and Abigail's father, but it's more so about Hannibal and Will, how they try to manipulate one another. <laughs> Stitched him into the mural. We don't know. He may have had a partner. Another <laughs> Will's like, I know. I know who did it. Hannibal Lecter has no reason. That is exactly right. He has no discernible reason other than his own amusement and curiosity. There will be a very clever, detailed find on James Gray. He wouldn't be able to resist it. Probably something that was overlooked. His leg being taken. For numbing. I don't think taking a leg is that clever, though. That's just like, well, that's a missing leg. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe, maybe that was a bad guess. Okay, I was not expecting that, the other end of that. What's this about then? Someone making human honey? Human honey? I got the psychopath triumvirate. Charm, focus, and ruthlessness. The charm being debatable, of course. Man, this guy, like, you'd think a guy who had all his organs scooped out of him and re-put in and all of that drama would be more humble, but nope. <laughs> You will be the first and last word in the mind of Will Graham. God, dine out on that for years. What do you want, Will? What you want something from him. You want something from him. Do not discuss me or my therapy with Hannibal Lecter. Oh, this is why he's doing it. This is why he's doing it. He knows he won't be able to resist. I am now under your exclusive care. Hannibal won't like that. Oh, he's playing their mind games out here, Will. He knows what he's doing. The war is over. The cancer is an occupying force. I want to surrender. While I still have my dignity. It doesn't help that everyone talks in such poetry in this show. <laughs> Ten seconds later. 
When the drone mates with the queen, this ejaculation is so explosive, it's audible to the human ear. Right. Okay, well, thanks for that, please Might not have been a friend, might not have even been an acquaintance. Whoever killed him understood him. So often you open your mouth and I hear Will Graham's words come out. <laughs> he's agreed to consult with me on cases if I keep investigating the murders he's accused of. Well, don't say that to Hannibal. Don't say that to Hannibal. That puts you on the hit list. Only by going deep beneath the skin will you understand the nature of this killer's pathology. Now, has Hannibal put a specific clue on this body to, like, go with Will's theory, but not enough to put him in the frame? Like, I assume he would be smart enough to do that. God, if, 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 it, if Will didn't trip out as it was, what the fuck's this gonna do? I want you to draw a clock for me. Interesting, interesting. That looked like his office. The fuck is this? What the fuck is happening? Picasso? Picasso, hello? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> he was encouraging the Black House for the last time. It was strategic. It was planned. Learning. He's learning. That's what that was. Trying to bring on the seizures. Trying to make them happen. Or are afflicted by something just as damaging. Like encephalitis. All right. Will was closing in on the on the hot trail thanks to a little help from some drugs <laughs> all with different neurological mechanisms some naturally occurring others appear to have been induced oh the look the look <laughs> creating seizures time loss gaps in his memory oh my god don't you're saying this to the wrong person you're saying all this to the wrong person you're gonna get fucked you feel that? No. Good. Oh God, don't put it in his eye, please. Please God, do not put one in his eye. It's not Hannibal. It might not have been Hannibal. <laughs> it might have been crazy lady with the acupuncture. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> uh. No, don't turn it! Don't turn it! Oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Why? Why? Catch this lady immediately. You're not supposed to stare at the sun. He has no eyeballs. He has no eyeballs now. At least he didn't die. Yeah. These things are hiding the needle marks. What'd you say? The, the, the bee stings are hiding the needle marks. Clue. Clue. It all links together. Thematically, there are clues. Only by going deep beneath the skin will you understand the nature of this killer's pathology. He took his kidney. Oh, some more nom noms. Some more nom noms. Well, you have an episode. I want you to hand me the gun. Well. Did they have to reshoot this scene? Did they have to reshoot this scene to get that point of view? You know you're not, and you don't know much more about who you are beyond that. Are you the Ripper? This is interesting, because Will was in the room when this happened, so technically he can remember it, sort of. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. He just has to prove it, which is the hard part. <laughs> if you invited him with an actual agenda, Hannibal would know it. He pointed me to the evidence. He's baiting Uck, Beverly. Yep. He's yep. playing with you. If Hannibal's the Ripper, what's he doing with his trophies? Yep, yep, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> it just suddenly clicked in. He's eating them. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a hard time, huh? Mr. Holleran, 
he couldn't envision a dignified end of life. So it's much nicer to die, well, for him, to die in a meadow, a head full of bees. I quieted his mind so that he could die in peace. I mean, she knows she's been caught, I guess, so just let, let him know. Let him know. I guess this is how we thematically link in with Jack's wife. For helping me understand that death is not a defeat. What have you taken, Bella? My morphine. Every bit of it. Oh, God. I mean, this just adds to Jack's I hate Hannibal list that's going to be happening in a few weeks' time, I guess. Jesus. Object. I don't trust this situation. I don't know what's going to happen with it. Do not trust it. Look at him. Just completely unfazed. Completely unfazed by what's just happened in front of him. Heads or tails? Oh my god. Oh my god. After all that just happened. Did he... Did he just, like, make a coin flip in terms of, do I wake her back up or not? Is that what that coin flip was? <laughs> well, damn. She got her strength back for that, and he deserves yeah. a slap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is there so many oh, no moments in this episode? There's so many of them. Oh, you fucking idiot. You idiot. I mean, he's going to know that got spilled. He's going to know that got spilled. I don't care that you found an underground basement area. Like... And now you're walking down to it. Now you're in here. There's someone behind you. There's, he's there. Oh, my God. Shoot him. Fuck, she's she's fucked. She's fucked. And plus he's also fucked because Oh my god. What a cliffhanger. <laughs> There's no way she's got out of that life though. There's no way. Alright, well that was a heck of an episode. Honey, eyeballs. Alright, first things first, whilst I've got it in my head, because I, I sort of started this for whilst I was watching it, and then I thought, okay, I need to cut off because I, I could just go on about this for a while, but the whole metaphor of the hunter versus the fisherman is like it keeps getting brought back up and obviously to start with it was this comparison between um abigail's dad and uh and will and what people were sort of drawing comparisons between but it, it also thematically is sort of the relationship between hannibal and will especially at this point where they're both trying to manipulate one one another into like baiting them into certain answers getting what they want from each other and, you know, one's, like, luring the other one into a false sense of security, or they both do that at times, and one's, like, hunting the the other, and, you know, it's just interesting. It keeps being brought back up, and it is, like, this, I don't know, this dialogue way of expressing what's going on in the show. It was also nice to see Abigail again in this episode, um, in Will's, in Will's happy place, as I'm calling it. I don't know if it's actually his happy place, but it seems to be where he goes where he calms his mind. Obviously, in this episode, there seemed to be a theme of control, uh, like control over one's fate and death and like illness and stuff. Like, obviously, we had our honey killer, who I was convinced was going to be Hannibal. Like, hey, Hannibal wants some human flavored honey. Like, what's he going to do? I mean, this seems like what he would do. And I think that was obviously an, an obvious red heron that was thrown in here. But no, it turned out to be just crazy acupuncture lady who who she feels was freeing these people from their pain that they were going through. But it was all just, uh, it's one of those classic Hannibal TV show, like, thematic links where we have a serial killer who is killing people, but it ties in to a theme of the episode, which in this case was Jack's uh, stubbornness and reluctance to let his wife go and is just prolonging her pain. At least that's how she sees it. 
and you know that was sort of the big theme of the episode everything that transpired certainly gives jack more ammunition for this big fight that's going to happen at the end now he's got a personal stake in that fight like this whole relationship between um his wife and hannibal he was the one who convinced her hey death is a is a cure for what ails you if if that is what's going on and he did a coin flip i guess and was like i can't i'm not gonna do it just for his own curiosity again for his experiments and just to see what would happen kind of thing um but it's weird because it does seem like he does genuinely like jack's wife but at the same time she is but a pawn in his game to manipulate jack and to sort of torture jack because it still feels like hannibal enjoys pressing those buttons on jack to just wind him up and this feels like a long game in that department and again like i say uh more ammunition for jack when it comes to this big brawl that's gonna happen but i do wonder what if you know we're gonna continue to see jack's wife um because she's been off screen for quite a quite a long time at this point and i don't know if this is just gonna be you know the episode where we get to see where everything is at and where it's going or if we're gonna get more of that like she laid a fucking big slap on hannibal there at the on the, at the end and I'm wondering if Jack's going to be like, the fuck was that about? <laughs> Will making some big brain plays today. He is figuring things out. He's getting his memories back, or at least pieces of them, or versions of them. Um, thanks to some help from some good old pumped in drugs and our creepy, creepy uh, Chilton guy, <laughs> who is still a shithead, even though uh, Will has found a way to use him for his, his advantage. But yeah, the Chilton made a mistake, like just coming out. To Hannibal about everything that's going on because that squarely puts him on the hit list and frankly we're at this point now where you know we ended on a cliffhanger here with uh cats and Hannibal and it it feels like the net you can see where the net could fall over Hannibal like the the, the pieces are moving in such a way where there are too many people getting on the shit list for Hannibal and all these people have direct ties to Jack and Will like you can see the walls closing in on him if he doesn't play it smart and i know he will play it smart because hannibal hannibal but you can definitely start to see how things are going to correlate uh obviously cat's found all these bits of evidence about hannibal but who knows what's going to happen next time if he's going to kill her if he's not if he's just going to keep her in that dungeon like it looks like you know we don't set up a dungeon to keep people trapped in and not use it so i feel like she's going to be trapped down there whilst hannibal decides what what do i do about this what uh, do i kill her do I try to get her brain messed up so she can't remember any of this? Like, who knows? Who knows? And the way he just got out of there, like, why didn't she shoot quicker? Why didn't she shoot quicker? God damn it. He, like, died, like, super speed when, when he went for that light switch. It was interesting that Hannibal gave her, like, hey, you need to look deeper than what you think to discover who did this. And, you know, he was kind of giving her a clue, but, like, my mind went to... He wants to give her just enough to help with the whole case with Will to prove that maybe he's half right about his deduction about someone else doing the killings. It's not it's not him or or what that is. It felt a little bit like, OK, Hannibal, you're getting a bit too you're getting a bit too big for your boots here. Like that ego of yours is uh, going to cause some problems. here. <laughs> like when she started getting too close to everything and starting to figure things out, like, nope, nope. This doesn't end well. This does not end well for her. And this could be another agent that gets killed be technically because of Jack, even though it isn't because of Jack. This was Will getting her to investigate in this. But she is working under Jack. So uh, another another feather in that cap for Hannibal, I guess. I mean, this this episode was really had some really interesting shots and direction in here. Like the whole eye removing scene was just masked for Lida. <laughs> it was so just uh I don't get that sort of like chilling kind of grossness much from things, especially in TV and movie. Like it doesn't happen to me much. But the, something about how they went about shooting that just oh, it's just just the it was just the right moment. The timing on the big fucking spike thing going in and then leaving it just long enough before twisting it. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> and we had all these like trippy sequences with Will um that were really well shot i do wonder if they had to reshoot some of the scenes um with that flashback sequence to get that different point of view with the jail cell looking through it um or if they just sort of used the scene again and uh, 
sort of did clever editing to manipulate it and obviously they probably got um Mads Mikkelsen to reshoot some of his moments so he could turn to Will and all that stuff and have Will inserted in the scene um but it's interesting it was really well done you couldn't if whatever they did you couldn't see like cuts and the and, and where they were like trying to like fudge it a little bit to make it smooth like it all looked good um so well done for all of that but yeah this episode did just did a really good job of just overloading the brain with some of its visuals like it just really put you in will's position in some of those moments where it's just like over overly stimulated oh god <laughs> so again a really well directed episode i feel but yeah that's my big takeaways from this episode it definitely feels like you can see the pieces coming together for jack to come to this conclusion that's going to lead to this fight at the end of the season i presume it's going to happen at the end of the season but now we've got these two avenues it could be because he discovers the evidence against hannibal that he knows he's the killer or it could be the personal stake about his wife like there's two options now it could just be a personal like i'm gonna go fuck this guy up obviously i said in a in one of the previous videos i was like how's this gonna keep working like how's the pacing of this season gonna work with this dynamic of will being in in jail effectively and hannibal being on the loose and where we're we gonna go with that but you know this episode just was pacey man it just kept going it snapped along but whilst also taking in the time to breathe for those uh more emotional beats and the manipulating beats and just again mads milkson's performance was incredible he had just the right amount of the cold-heartedness with the manipulation and he blends these things so well that you can never quite tell when he's being genuine and when he's putting on a show and you know it's it's really well done across the board solid solid episode i, I really enjoyed this one this was good uh i look forward to the continued adventures of hannibal will and the gang as they discover who's the real killer and will she make it out next time tune in next hannibal time same hannibal day yeah you got it see you there <laughs> Thank you for watching this one guys if you enjoyed it please press the thumbs up button it helps me know you liked it it helps to get seen by more people also consider subscribing and supporting the channel that way there are links in the description for discord and for twitch come hang out live as i play games we talk nonsense and we largely just take fun of me make fun of me that's the sentence anyway thank you for watching hope you enjoyed i'll catch you on the next one